Big Z Reviews. The Tomorrow War is a new big stupid uh, summer blockbuster only on Amazon Prime. And it's stupid, but it is a lot of fun. You know, I enjoyed it. And it's, whenever they weren't trying to explain the time travel, I enjoyed it. How are you so calm? Long story. Yeah, like ex-military? Yeah. Kind of a short story, I guess. Three, two, one. In 11 months' time, all human beings in the future will be wiped from the face of the Earth. Unless you help us. So when the movie started out, I was not feeling it too much. Because they're trying to explain time travel, and you have Chris Pratt as a scientist teacher, and <laughs> and like there's the the time travel stuff is like uh, like if it's bad time travel kind of grinds my gears because I really feel like it, it either don't try to explain it at all or really try to get into it. But this like when they tried to explain it, I was like, Ugh. because essentially. The, um, in the future, like, 40 years in the future, 30 years in the future, something like that, like, there is this huge alien invasion, and we're losing, like, they're now down to, like, 500,000 people in the entire Earth, and, like, at the last kind of resort, they were able to figure out time travel, and they sent, they opened up uh, a wormhole to 2021, and that, that now they're, like, bringing over... Um, so, uh, soldiers from the from the past to fight in the future war, the tomorrow war, and uh, like I can't help but think, you know, wouldn't it be better just to say, hey, there's a war coming up. Uh, how about you train your soldiers for when the war starts? <laughs> you know, but the whole idea that you, you need to get Chris Pratt in the free, in the future, like even if there's more stuff, like it was something interesting, like like because. Time, they going back in time. That means that anything that happens back then, that nothing now, that that creates an arching future. Because like the, they even say like y Yvonne Stravinsky is like one of like the gen generals or ever in there, and she's had a relationship of sorts with Chris Pratt, and like, but like she has memories re in, uh, involving him, and like, but those memories can't be from that world now because if if he wins and goes back to his own time it's going to be completely different you know that's you know so it's like so they're obviously in like an alternate future now by going back and changing things so like so, so but there's but I, I, but the funny thing is towards the end they actually do some things where uh, that kind of works and I kind of like that but like they were but the lead up, the, the intro to it was bad. But like toward the end, they kind of like they what they do kind of works. Once Pratt and his other kind of uh, the other grunts from the past go into the future, that's when I was kind of with this movie. That's why I was kind of into it. You know, before then I was kind of eh, kind of moaning and groaning about how there's a lot of stupid stuff about it. But once it hits the future, it's, it becomes a fun action sci-fi flick. I almost like I got a monster picture too, because um, it was, it was, I would say it's funny that like all the soldiers they get, they do not try to train them at all. But they, it's kind of funny they have like a bunch of random people, like, including the one uh, Gale the Snail from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and it's like, like some fat guys, and, some, you know, and it's like it's, I can't help but think that um, their agent comes to him, hey. We got an offer for this um, big action sci-fi flick, and they're probably like, "Oh man, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all buff. I'm gonna get really, I'm gonna be an action flick. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be an action hero." It's like, "Oh no, no, no! They, you don't have to do anything. They want you exactly the way you look, like a schlub." And they're like, "Oh, yay!" <laughs> but they, the actual like when they get in the future, these these uh, the monsters, like they're cool. They're the the, uh, the the CGI for them is amazing. Like they feel real. Like it's it's the CGI for them is better than a lot of the Marvel stuff. But like they feel they have a realness to them. Like they feel like they're actually there. Like 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 so many times when anything is fully CGI, 
they always have trouble like it feels like they're floating or feels like they're not actually interacting with the world but these things they looked like they're like real they and they were cr very creative they're some of the most creative aliens i've seen on the big screen in a while and because there's nothing quite like them like they have like these tentacles but they also like they have like these they 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 have their like weapons they like can shoot these like bony needles at people with them in the tentacle then they also grab with them and they have they have sharp teeth and they run they really fast and they have this like a swarm of them and like you can only kill them by getting them like in like the, the chest neck or in the face and like there is a lot of cool stuff with them and the only thing is, at a certain point, like, they, um, they tried to, kidna uh, to kidnap, like, the queen of them. And, like, so that they can, like, develop, a, like, a poison to try to kill them all. And the queen is not different enough. Like, the queen looks too much like all the other alien things. Like, the only thing different about her is, like, she's more aggressive. And she has, like, a big belly. Like, a pregnant belly. And I, I wish they would have done, like, a different color or, like, um, really, like, twice the size of the other ones or something like that. Just so that, like, uh, later on, like, stuff was going on, like, and they're like, oh, is that the female? I think, like, okay, yes, that's the female, okay. You know, like, I wish there was something more different about the queen from all the other ones. But, like, there's a lot of great stuff here. Like, and, and the actual, like, some of the storytelling... And the character development stuff is not great. You know, it's it's nothing special. And Chris Pratt himself, I don't know. He wasn't great in this role. I think he, like, he, he's, I feel like they're like, okay, no laughing. You cannot be funny in this role. You have to be super serious, okay? And like, okay, I will not smile the entire movie. I look, I look like a, like a scientist hunk. Uh, sci-fi fighter I not smile at all mm. you know it's because it's weird because he's such he has so much personality and like they kind of took it all away from him for this and I'm, I guess you know they don't want it to be that kind of movie but at the same time it's just he be kind he kind of fades into the background a little you know but and it's, it's funny though there's like an end to this movie and then there's like another 20 minutes to half hour after it and it's like, wait, like, I, like, we were like, I was watching, I was like, oh, I'm good, i got to go pee, how much longer is this? And I was like, oh, wait, there's a whole other half hour? And, and it's like, they, like, their stuff goes on in the present. And there's, some, it's, it's interesting, I like it, but there's like, it, it feels like almost like we have the sequel in, within the first movie, you know? Because I guess like a two and a half hour long movie. And, but, I mean, I still think it works. Like, I still, in, I enjoyed it for what it was. You know, it's nothing amazing, but it's a lot of fun. And it's, if you have Amazon Prime, it's free. So I would definitely recommend it. It's nothing just for the really cool monsters. But, uh, like, I'd probably give, like, a 7.75, 7 7.5 out of 10. But uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see any more of me, you can subscribe down below. Thanks. Mm -hmm.